Rabbi Strad, let's talk about the Sprint family Torah. Okay, so in the early days of the synagogue, we had one Torah. Uh, I assume we're going to talk about that uh, in a little bit. Um, we had the Abraham Torah, and that's what we had. And we were pushing the limits on that one Torah, so that when you came to a holiday and you had to do, you had to uh, roll the Torah from whatever the weekly portion was to whatever the whatever the holiday portion was. I, I remember times where I ended up with like Popeye. Uh, forearms from doing seriously. I mean, you do this for long enough, and all you, you feel like your, your your arms are building up. Um, but we were really we were stretched with that, and especially when we started doing um, more than one service on a Saturday morning, um, we would have uh, a need for for two tours or more. And I can't remember whether this one was our second or whether the Pearl Rosen tour was our second, but they came within pretty close proximity. We could track that down. Um, but this was either the second or the third. It was really early, and I remember in those days being <laughs> being desperate. Uh, and I would I would raise it with people, hoping that somewhere, somebody w would be moved by it and respond to it, because uh, we, were, we were really were in serious need. And as I recall it, um, this was a family, so we know that, that uh, Sprintz, his, the man's name was Irv, and he was, um, I believe he was first generation American. I remember meeting his parents, who were definitely European, and there's a story behind this, that, the details of which I don't remember, but it was, uh, I think it was, it was something that he had possession of. Mm -hmm. Rabbi Briskin says that he heard, spoke to David Sandman, who said it was brought over from Europe, Sounds like it could have been, but I know he had it in his possession, possession and said, I'd rather you have it and use it than for it to sit there and not be used. So he did donate it to us, and my best recollection is that was at a time when I had done a conversion for one of his children, who, who, for the, the bride of one of his children. We can check that out too, but that's my memory, that there was something I had done, and I'm pretty sure it was a conversion that he wanted to, to make a gesture. And that's where we end up, ended up with that Torah. It was certainly in the very early days of the synagogue, certainly in the, in the early 80s. Great, thank you.